January. Linda is our sponsor so far. Linda, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi guys, it's Candy. Um, this is just a quick update on the Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Um, yes, I have makeup on today. And um, I colored my hair black again because I just... It just feels more right being black. So, there you go. I like it better. I feel better. I'm more comfortable with the black. Um, so far, let's see. Okay, last week. Go all the way back to last week. Monday, I decided I needed to tackle my living room. And I did. Wholeheartedly. Um, I rearranged furniture, I vacuumed, I hung stuff up on the walls, I did it all. And I paid for that dearly all week long. Um, I managed, I think I managed to paint just a little bit during the week. Um, and it wasn't, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Um, not going to lie, my body was really mad at me. And um, Friday, I ended up with a migraine. Um, it started out as a, just a headache, and I thought, well, it's just a sinus headache. My sinuses are going crazy, so it's just a sinus headache, and I'll be fine. By Friday night, um, I couldn't concentrate on anything I was doing. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I, ev I even took my migraine pills that the doctor gave me when I first found out I had Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, and... It wouldn't touch it. Nothing touched it. I felt like I was getting Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever all over again. And so I was in bed. I was cold and then I was hot. And then I was cold and then I was hot. Um, I was throwing stuff up. Um, couldn't keep anything down. Not even chicken noodle soup. Um, and so... Um, I thought, well, great, I better go to the doctor Monday and find out what's going on. So, Sunday, Sunday, Monday morning-ish, I woke up and got up about 1, 1.30. Um, oh, two, very dizzy. I couldn't walk through the house without tripping. Um, my husband was, um, like, you know, put his hands out or to catch me and whatnot. So, um, I had planned on getting up Monday morning and calling the doctor. Um, my husband took me, I was, I had a pedicure that I'm not missing, um, at my shop that I used to work at. And so I didn't want to miss seeing my girl cause I hadn't seen her in a while. But, um, I went and got my, I, Kevin took me and got my pedicure um, even though I wasn't dizzy anymore, we were just afraid that something was not quite right. Um, and just decided that since it had gone away, probably didn't need to call the doctor anymore. Um, of course, that Sunday when I woke up and was like, woohoo, everything feels so good. Um, my eye, this, this eye here, if I can get, I don't, I probably can't even get that close, but, um, Anyway, I had the cornea transplant in this eye, and I still have stitches. And, of course, I look at my eye, and I can't see them. But, um, anyway, so there's like 16 stitches left in my eye from that. Well, um, as you recall, I broke one and had had that taken out. Well, Sunday, the same time I woke up feeling great, I woke up and... It was like something scratching. I was like, oh, great, I think I'm doing this again. Um, went in. Um, on the way in, I called. And they told me to come in to so they could check my eye. And sure enough, I busted another stitch. And so I was, you know, 
it thankfully um, it was just a short time that I was having to fight with that because I didn't have the swelling I didn't have that my eye wasn't it was irritated but it was not like before because my whole eyelids just got swollen but um, so we took care of that and the rest of this week has been good but I haven't done anything um, yesterday I felt good and went to the grocery store and I went to I went to a couple places and did a little did a little shopping not anything major but I went to the grocery store I came home and cooked and was worn smooth out and went and took a nap um, I don't I probably went to bed I don't know. I don't even know what time it was when I went to bed. I'm it, I'm thinking it was about 7.30 or 8 when I went to bed. But then I woke up, of course, you know, 12.31 and was up till 4. And that's kind of how my Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever sleeping habit is. But that's kind of how my sleeping habit is no matter what. Um... I have lost a lot of weight. I don't. I don't even know how much because I never weigh myself. Um, and all I know is that this. I have a jawbone again, and my clothes are fitting differently. And for me, for that, when I get to that point, I've lost probably about fifteen to twenty pounds. Um, so there you go. Um, but this week I have taken it easy. I have I haven't tried to clean anything. I haven't tried to get crazy and anything like that. Um, I my mom is now in physical therapy at the same place I was at physical therapy. So I went with her today, and since I went out and colored my hair and fixed it and everything, I decided. You know, you need to put some makeup on and feel better, and I do. It makes me feel better. I should have put some lip gloss on because my lips are kind of dry, and it's that lip scent stuff, so it gets a little crusty after a while, but it stays on all day. But anyways, um... So far, so good. I have not eaten any beef. Um, I'm scared to death to eat beef after the last time, so I'm not doing that. Um, I have, when I went to the grocery store, I bought a lot of chicken and um, fixing chicken and doing that stuff. Trying not to, I, sugar, like, um, I love atomic fireballs, but I can't eat them all the time because they make the inside of my mouth raw. But I love them. I have a huge bucket of them and so I'll chew on those not chew but you know you know what I mean um and then like my favorite thing at Christmas is peanut brittle I love and I it's not even that I love that peanut brittle I love making the peanut brittle so and it's so good when you can make it yourself so me and my husband have been doing that um and it's got the it the flavor is there and that's what I that's the problem I'm having with a lot of my foods is that the flavor is not what you want it you get kind of hungry for something but then it's not what you want because the flavor is not there so um hmm I have, but I can't eat a lot of sugar because it but it bothers my body um pop soda pop um i have to have caffeine free because i'm allergic to caffeine so um my husband bought orange fanta and i love that um because i do get great like orange flavor you know orange the orange slices you know orange juice you get that you get hungry for that um so i'm probably i need vitamin c i'm probably sure but um Anyway, I can't drink a lot of that because it bothers with me, and I'm not sure what that is. I think it's just the sugar because it's in you know inflaming everything. So, but this has been good. 
Um, I have satin crocheted some. Um, I have painted a little bit. I'm trying to get back into my videos and get that going because they're changing things on YouTube again. So, um, and you know, if, if I don't get there, I don't get there. They're changing the amount, um, you have to have not just the amount of, um, views. It was, you had to have 30,000 views, period when I first started doing this. Well, now they're changing it that you have to have 4,000 hours and at least 1,000 subscribers. Well, I'm, I'm net at just over 900 subscribers and I'm far, far away from 4,000 hours. So um, if I don't get there, I'm just gonna just keep doing what I do because I'm having a good time doing this. I love painting. I love helping you guys do what you do. Um, and if I can help you create, then that's that's the thing. I'm I love doing what I'm doing. And if I can if I can help somebody else get better at doing what they want to do, that's fine by me. And I'll hit it eventually and then they can bite me again, but um <laughs> It's like you keep, you know, I reach the finish line and then you change the finish line on me. So, um, but we've got some things in the works. There's, some, we've got some things in the works, so don't worry, don't worry. There's a lot of people out there that's helping, helping out people. Um, but, um, that's really about it on my whole Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. This week has been good, um. I'm going to keep going the way I'm going because Sunday I want to be able to go to church and I want to be able to go to the youth group because that's where I was working, was in the youth. Um, I love those. I love, uh, love hanging out with those kids. And um, so far, God has not told me that I'm not going to be in there anymore. So um, I am going to sit out. We're having... Um, a deal next weekend, and we call it United. A lot of people call it D now, but um, we're having that, and I think I would end up in the hospital if I tried to do that because it is Friday Friday night, all day Saturday, and Saturday night, and then we take them to church Sunday morning, and I love it because the kids, you know, me and the girls get so close. And, um, that's a really good bonding time is Saturday. Saturday night is the best. And, um, they really like to just sit and visit with you and talk and get deep into what they need to talk about. And I really like that. Um, but, uh, can't do it. I know I'd end up in the hospital, but, um, so, but I do want to go to church Sunday, and I want to go to church Sunday night so I can help them get things going. Um, I'd like to go Friday night or even Wednesday. Um, Wednesday is the rally, um, and I'd like to go to that. I'm not sure how I would do with loud music because um, since I got this, my ears have been buzzing, and I can't listen to music really loud. And now, mind you, um, one of my things I have to have in a car is the awesome sound system that they put in, you know. And so my car has a extremely awesome sound system um, bass. And so I love listening to music loud. And I just can't do it right now because it kind of overwhelms me and bothers my ears so I probably won't if I get if I go Friday I probably just won't go in while they're doing the music um, but I would really like to do that um, and maybe even Saturday night get to go and check that out but we'll just have to see how I'm feeling and how everything goes um, but uh, anyways that's all that's all can't, I don't have anything bad this week except for my stitch and that had nothing to do with Rocky Mountain. So um, it's all about pacing yourself and I knew that. 
when I was doing the living room, and my husband kept telling me, you got to stop, you got to stop, and I'm, but I'm almost done, oh look, I found something, you know, you know, yeah, when we need our living rooms clean, we need our living rooms clean, but, um, I, I suffered for that for a week, so we'll see, but, um, stitch-wise, um, I have, I lost the one at 1 o'clock, and I lost the one at 11 o'clock. So they said the one at 12 o'clock probably will break. And so, now we're just going to see. I'm going to, I'm going to say probably not. I don't know if I could even, I don't know if you could see. You may be able to. I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> get right up there. <laughs> but um, I'm going to get off here and paint now. Okay, thank you guys, and I appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just don't. Um, the support, thank you. Thank you so much, because that means the world to me. Um, you can't get through anything like this without support and prayer, and y'all have been answering that as well. So, okay, well, I'm going to go paint. Get dirty. All right. Toodles. I'll talk to you later.